Dating back to the 15th century, this exquisitely captivating historic chateau in central France's Burgundy region was built back in the 1400s by a French nobleman and was shockingly left abandoned by its last owners in 2017. To our complete surprise, we found the interior of the chateau still adorned with exquisite period furnishings, intricate woodwork, and masterful artwork, offering a glimpse into the lavish lifestyle of its former inhabitants. Almost immediately, we found the chateau's beautiful grand entrance hall adorned with solid stone trim, a magnificent mosaic floor, and showcasing a huge majestic oak staircase winding its way to the second floor. Other notable treasures found inside were a beautiful chapel with ornate multicolored stained glass bathing the sanctuary in a wonderful and colorful glow. There was also an amazing upstairs library complete with decaying old books and interestingly several antique Singer sewing machines that sat fully intact and seemingly ready to use. And finally, the large dining room featured silk wallpaper adorned with gold fleur-de-lis, the emblem of French royalty, which complemented the wood paneled walls and elegant cabinetry. Flying across the big pond all the way to France to explore such a unique location was a literal dream come true for us. Neither of us had ever experienced such a dominating location or explored a true abandoned French chateau before, so we were on edge as we creeped through the forest of old oak trees, walked under the imposing circular stone towers, around some thick bushes, and to a back entrance to find that someone had completely ripped off the door, and to our excitement the chateau was sitting wide open almost as if it was luring us inside. All right, so this is supposed to be an epic chateau that we're at. There's new camera signs. We haven't had the best luck so far. Trail cams, police came, set off alarms. few troubled spots looks like there's another camera kind of up there looks kind of new and an open door that's what we like to see uh-huh Is this lead in? Yeah, we're good. Alright. We're officially in here. Jeez. Oh, look at the statue as soon as you walk in. Doesn't get much better than this. A huge abandoned French chateau. Out in the middle of nowhere too. So this is the front doors at the chateau secret. It's pouring rain outside, so I'm soaked right now. But we just got in here, and this is a really, really good one. As soon as you walk in the entryway, you got this old baby carriage. These are really rare to see in the United States. We've been seeing them a lot more out here in France. Pretty tattered and ripped. Still super cool to see. It's comfortable, nice and padded. It's like a headless statue here at the entryway. What's up with all the headless statues around here? It's got like pheasants carved in it. Got lions carved in it. And fishermen. He's holding like a fish. 
That's crazy. Here's the lions. Nuts, yeah. This is what I came to France for. Look at that picture frame. It's probably one of the biggest picture frames I've ever seen. Very old typewriter. This looks like an altar. It might be, it might be September religious. Let's go check the rest of this down here out. Chapel. Wow, it's really decaying badly right here. That's too bad. I get the hand painted ceiling too. Stained glass. Yeah, so that's why the altar's out there. Definitely a chapel. Mm, religious. Having a chapel right in your chateau. Wild. Somebody smashed out the Last Supper. And then why is there a deer head on the altar? Somebody doing some sacrificial stuff in here? Like what? Oh, look at that. Sick shield up there in the center. That stained glass is gorgeous. It says something in French there. Damn, the deer's done. Been sacrificed over and over again. And melted candles. Altar. This is privilege. Thing. Look at the colors. It's amazing. The chateau purposefully sits discreetly hidden amidst a small forest of towering, aging old oak trees just outside of a small village. Its neo-Romanesque exterior design features two distinct prominent round towers with the connecting arched gallery, believed to be the only remnants left of the original 15th century structure, still proudly showcasing its rich medieval heritage today over 600 years later. During the French Revolution of the late 18th century, ownership of the chateau passed to the de Montrichard family, one of France's oldest aristocratic lineages. Thankfully, the chateau survived this tumultuous period in French history and subsequently it was passed down through the same family in the many years to come. This is the living room area. 
In 1868, it ended up in the hands of Count Armand de Montrichard, and he immediately began to rebuild the stately chateau. He expanded hallways and other rooms, utilized imported tapestries and hand-carved woodwork, had rare tile and stained glass installed, and made other significant interior renovations, all enhancing the chateau's grandiose scale and overall opulence. The Count had achieved his goal, and the architectural brilliance of the chateau was now a blend of medieval, renaissance, and baroque styles, showcasing the evolution of all the architectural trends over the many centuries. The chateau featured a symmetrical layout, grand facades, ornate turrets, and meticulously landscaped gardens, all of which contributed to its ever-enhancing allure. The chateau's rich history continued through the centuries and stayed within the de Montrichard family for many years until it eventually changed hands in 2003 when it was purchased by a local architect. The architect tried his very best to protect the aging structure and maintain its massive surrounding property. However, the maintenance became increasingly challenged and proved to be too much, leading to its eventual sale to a couple of Indonesian real estate investors in 2017. The pair of investors initially planned to undertake another restoration of the deteriorating structure and turn the place into a luxurious hotel and fancy restaurant, but instead fled the country and never returned, leaving the once gorgeous castle to fend for itself, which over time proved to be an impossible task. Wow, this has details all over it. Amazing plaster work everywhere on this one. Look at the cherub up there. Above these doors that lead into it from the main foyer. There's too many rooms to love in here. And look at all of them match too. It's great. Even into the uh, other one here in this parlor area. Another piano over there. The plaster work in there. It is incredible. In 2020, the property grabbed the eye of a local conservation group who organized preservation efforts to help save the chateau. Unfortunately, their efforts have yielded little results, especially as it has become somewhat of a popular icon for abandoned French chateaus, attracting visitors and trespassers from all corners of the world. And despite some people making claims that the historic chateau was once owned by victims of the Titanic, there has been no proof to corroborate such a story. As of 2024, the once extravagant chateau continues to sit abandoned, hoping to be saved from additional destruction, further damage, and most importantly, the fate of impending doom. I'm very surprised no one has broke this mirror yet. This fireplace is wild. This is one of the better ones. This one's got dogs on it. It looks like a wolf. It looks like a dog. Two different types of animals on each side. Wild. And then there's the face up there. Amazing stuff. Thankfully, much of the building still remains well-preserved, yet essential restoration work is obviously needed, including repairs to the roof, plumbing, and masonry. While the property's current state portrays a haunting and captivating setting reminiscent of a brother's grim tale, 
It is our hope that this chateau's fairy tale can be one of restoration and safeguarding, ensuring its legacy remains intact for generations to come. The captivating architecture and profound historical significance of the chateau demand nothing less than a valiant effort to protect it from the ravages of time and humankind. So then on the other side of the entryway is the dining room. This is huge dining room table. So much amazing furniture in these places. Wow, look at this china cabinet. Everything is still all displayed. It's probably one of the most grand china cabinets I've ever seen, actually. Jeez, look at this. It's all matching, too. Or most of it. Wow, look at that, though. That is incredible. That is just incredible. Look at the detail in the chairs in the dining room. So all the rest of the chairs are on the dining room table. They're the exact same except this one. Look at the details in this. Another amazing room. Look at those fixtures. That's awesome. I have no clue what that is. Got an old puzzle there of France, that's pretty cool. Oh, you see there's just a bunch of furniture and trash blocking that door over there. If you come through here, looks like another reading area maybe. Bunch of all the old lamp posts. It's like a small piano over here. Wow, this is really old. 1867, that says.
These are some parts from the old lamps. Pretty much it for the downstairs, so we're gonna head upstairs now. Uh, the kitchen. Let's go check out the kitchen. This is the kitchen. It's a really big kitchen actually, but there's not too too much left in here. See that's where all the pots and pans were once hanging. Got the cupboards for all the glasses and plates. Probably a big prep table. And the same for over there. There's not too much left in the kitchen now. The old sink. It still has the sponges. Like those sponges got to be 30 years old, 20 years old probably. Another typewriter. Looks like there's a joint in there. I haven't smoked in days, but I am not going to smoke that. So that's pretty much it for the first floor. This looks like this was just, not exactly sure. Possibly a washroom for linens. There's a sink right there. More storage for all the china and plates and stuff. All right. Pretty much it for the downstairs. We'll make our way through here. This is by far the biggest picture frame I've seen in my life. So we keep marking our way upstairs. That is epic, friends. stairway Jesus we have old hand carved woodwork too dudes were just badass back in the day
Let's go check out some of these bedrooms. Of course, the bed's got to match the wallpaper, yes. Look at all the mold on the wallpaper over there. That's a big fireplace there. Cool bedroom though. Check this out. This is an old elevator. Oh, the chateau had an elevator in it. It's pretty cool. Let's see what else is back here. Another bedroom. This one a little bit smaller. See this picture right here? Fell out of this frame that's hanging off the wall. stone fireplace with a wood mirror Looks like there's another bedroom right here. Oh, this is a big one. Get the wallpaper that matches and everything. Wow. Look at that blue leather. Armoire. No wonder there's so many armoires here. It's French. Armoire. I get above the 
windows, they have like canopies. Gotta love those curtains too. They match the bed and the comforter. An amazing fireplace right there too. I gotta imagine with all these French chateaus and even over in Italy that there's gotta be some paintings worth so much money left inside these properties. And they're most likely damaged, but I bet they were worth a lot of money at one point. And I wonder if there's any, you know, famous artists work still hanging in some of these chateaus you would never know now look at this bookshelf right here is probably one of the best rooms in this house. Check out this sewing room with all the books. You can hear the rain water coming in. It's really bad in here. This place is gonna start collapsing. These are really, really old books too. You can see they've been sitting on these shelves for a hundred years. Dude. 1888, 1894, 1892. God, these are old. And it's so cool because it's not just the actual sewing machine, but it's the whole table, too. Like, I had one of these growing up. My mom did. Singer Manufacturing Company. With a patent. It's crazy.
This room is incredible. Fireplace too. That exterior is just banana. Look at that. like a nice marble fireplace and another singer So if you come out of a sewing room, looks like there's maybe a kid's bedroom over here. Hmm, maybe not a kid's. Maybe this is where the maids would stay. Not exactly sure. We got another bedroom with two beds over here. There's a lot of junk in this room. Futuristic shower here seems out of place in this chateau. Look at that, it's like a time capsule. Dude, that's insane. Look at all the nozzles, and <laughs> it's got like a control electronic control on it. That's wild, dude. I've never seen a shower like that. I would want one. Look at all the dead bees. Wild. Crazy. All right, let's see if we can get a year on any of this stuff. Two thousand and nine. So I guess they were living in here about fifteen years ago. But fifteen years is a long time to be sitting. And as you can see, the result of that. I was able to get some more light by opening that up. Get the wallpaper starting to come down everywhere. This room is kind of junky, but it's got some cool beds and a little love seat action here. It's a cool bed and a really cool armoire, but I'm getting a little tired of looking at those. <laughs> This is another really big bedroom. It's probably 
probably the original chandelier of this house. Look at the wallpaper in here. It's like a makeup area, probably all jewelry boxes. Yeah, this is probably where you would put your jewelry. And then sit here and do your makeup. Who left the Grand Marnier? We got back in here, look at this curved door. That's sweet. It follows the outline of the room too, of course. That's pretty cool though. Bathroom. <laughs> still a shirt hanging up. And toothpaste still here. Oh, somebody blew that out, that's gross. Oh, sick. Look at that bed. Damn. This is cool. Two twin seats right here at the window. That match the um, drapes and curtains. Very, very cool. I love it how it all matches too. Another armoire. This one seems uh, empty. Look at that green comforter. It's cool that all the fireplaces are different too. Like there's marble. I think one of them might have been granite, and then now stone. This one might be marble too. Nineteen eighty nine. That paper's from now. This is a kid's room. circular room like this it's pretty unique it's one of the chateau turrets It's pretty cool. It's like a map of this area. There's the light switch. So now we're going up to the top level, top floor. You 
can see there's some stuff up there. Let's go give it a whirl. Portraits on the wall. Sick bed. Nice uh, love seat. Fireplace, of course. Typewriter, even. Window has like insane brass work on it. What a room. This is another great room here. I wonder if this is the owner of the chateau. Can't read it, of course. Wow. It's like a noose up in this mug. What's up with that? Oh, look at this knickknack. Look at these old books sitting back here, rotting away. This little cut cut out here, skylight. Jeez. Looks like a game. That's so cool. And I don't know about that noose thing. Let's see if there's anything else up here. Again, we're on the top level of the chateau. Another bedroom. Nice fireplace. I love see. It's like every single room at least has some stuff in it. If this was America, like I would be shooting everything. But there's just so much here, I can't shoot it all. I don't get that either. Okay. Look at this bed. Look at the wallpaper. It's folding down onto the over the bed. What Michelin man? No doubt, huh? I thought that was Michigan. Let's see what we got now. Voila. Two beds. Cool. Oh, what's up with this box spring? That's interesting. Oh, I love the wallpaper too, the floral wallpaper in here. It's another stone fireplace here. so nice out it's like perfect outside i can feel the warm breeze coming through that window it was raining earlier but it's since stopped 
These are just amazing. These would sell in America for a lot of money with the marble top and the marble base. Marble inside, look at that. Nothing in it though. Looks like this is just a bathroom, yeah. Where is this taking me? Old room here on the end. This is like the very end corner. Yeah. And then the last circular room up here just has a little basic bed in it. It's like cut, it's look at that, it's like into the wall though. That is pretty wild. You can see the wallpaper just coming down all around it. As we come to the conclusion of the video, this massive abandoned French chateau was not only our favorite location, but it was also a real life vision turned reality for us to have had the opportunity to experience such a unique place. We sure hope that you all enjoyed the video and for more photos of this amazing chateau, check out our website at abandonedcentral.com. And as always, don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the latest and greatest. Thank you all for the love and support.